Hey everyone, Scott Ackerman here, and welcome to another fine Earwolf program on the Video Podcast Network. Stay tuned for Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, my favorite. When you are older and gaze back at the vista of your life, you will ask what all people ask. Why did I watch so many seasons of Survivor? It was horrible. Hi, welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Ah, uh, Hollywood Nights, guys. Great catchphrase, by the way. Thank you so much. April Fool's Rebel. Hmm, what does that mean? April Fool's Rebel? He doesn't uh, celebrate April Fool's? He treats everyone with deadly seriousness on <laughs> April Fool's Day, maybe? That makes sense. Did I say Hollywood Nights, by the way? Doug, so. I think he did. where's your mic going? What's going on? I don't know. Bring you up. All right, it is Hollywood <laughs> Nights. Why do? Uh, by the way, why are uh, welcome to the show? I'm Scott Ackerman. This is Comedy Bang Bang. Why? Uh, uh, can can we open up one of these just to see Hollywood Nights? And no, we can't open them up. Gosh, I wish you people at home could see Hollywood Nights. But uh, uh, we got a great sunset going on out there. I think is it dark already, Doug? No, you, no, no. Oh man, I hence w- the sunglasses. Wish I could see that sunset. Holly- We're transitioning into Hollywood Nights. Uh, welcome to the show. This is Comedy Bang Bang and uh, another edition, another fine edition. And um, you, some of you may be watching this on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, some of you may just be listening to this as a podcast. Uh, so, you know, whatever strikes your fancy. And uh, uh, it is Hollywood Nights, though. I, I wonder if I had brought that up earlier. <laughs> Doug, did I bring I, that up? I'd like to strike your fancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're back. Uh, we were at South by Southwest last week. We did a couple of shows, and those were a lot of fun to do. The first one was uh, one of these video podcasts, and we did. Uh, it was with Sarah Silverman and Michael Sarah and Tim and Eric and Reggie Watts. I missed was it. Great. Was there a sponsor of that? I didn't. I didn't catch a mention of that <laughs> during the program. Doug, you were. You were. Uh, by the way, we'll introduce you in a second. Okay. We'll introduce our other guest. Yes, but uh, first, excited. I'll do a little pre-talk with you. You were watching live as it happened. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I was just happened to be uh, near my computer and uh, saw one. Your tweet that it was happening and is that I how said, it happened you I was you, like you looked at your proximity to the computer <laughs> and you said well i'm about what three feet away is that yeah i'm near it and i have no plans to walk away anytime soon <laughs> okay good so sometimes i would have my projects going on and just listen but then when something sounded like when sarah was high-fiving the entire crowd then mm-hmm. i flipped over and watched the video mm-hmm and it was uh, it was very entertaining. It's a glimpse inside the mind of Doug. Well, yeah. I don't want to introduce you yet. That's why Tim Heidecker hasn't been on Doug Loves Movies because <laughs> I had a feeling he wouldn't like games and would shit all over them. He does like that's, games. And that's that's his, what he did to you. That's his character, but he does. <laughs> I've played games with him. I play games in a game night. I've played with him. poker with him. He's yeah. terrible at it, yeah. but uh, nice guy. We'll introduce you in a sec. But uh, we're back, and uh, we're, uh, we had some great shows. Thank you so much to anyone who came out to see us at South by Southwest. I think I did about five shows or so, and, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And uh, let's get to our guests. Why are we waiting so yeah, long to get to up. our guests? You know what I mean? I mean, it seems as if I'm just stalling here, trying to fill time. I mean, that's not what podcasts are about. Feels like we're just hanging out in Woodbury. He's not even here. <laughs> We're just waiting for him to attack us. Speaking of Woodbury, our first guest likes to bury his wood oh, no. into several girls out on the road. Please welcome Doug Benson. Hey, everybody. <laughs> um, where do people know you from, Doug? Uh, <laughs> stage and screen, I guess. <laughs> sure. What you were a in tri- an off- a trivia question, perhaps? You, you were in an off-Broadway play. Yes, and uh, and I've been I've made some movies. And some questionable choices. You've loved movies. Lo- I love movies. <laughs> mm-hmm. I imagine anyone that's listening would already know who I am, but uh, who knows? I, I, could I mean, be wrong. there may not be a lot of crossover. I'm between a part our of shows. your universe. That's right. You're part of. I'm the, in your uh, world. <laughs> you're part of the Bang Bang universe. <laughs> uh, this is the Six Sixteen, by the way, and uh, the TV show is uh, an alternate universe. By the way, you're not part of that universe yet, but would love to get you. Oh, I'd love to point. stop by that universe. Yes. <laughs> Do I, have, do I have to be like Richard Branson? Do I have to afford to actually <laughs> travel, travel, travel into space? <laughs> um, let me introduce our other guests, yes. and we'll kind of talk more specifically about- I thought that's what we were about... going to do, and then you talk to me some more. <laughs> sure. 
<laughs> but um, you mentioned Woodbury because uh, our, our next guest is a first-timer, a CBB first-timer, which uh, we always love the first-timers. And um, that doesn't quite connect to Woodbury yet, but I'm getting around to it. But um, he is on a television show in which the third season is set largely in Woodbury as well as uh, – uh, I don't want to give away spoilers. Maybe that's too much of a spoiler. Mm. Really? I don't know. It's there's set a, somewhere. There's a prison. Can we say that? Ooh. Hey, ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah. That is a big People one. People haven't watched this entire season yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, The Walking Dead is the show. AMC Network's probably the biggest uh, show in the history of the medium. I don't know. It's big. That, it's very big. debatable. Yeah. Big, bigger than the final episode of MASH. If you, Oh, yeah. Mash, really? Mash you're getting, you're getting 133 as... million people a week? <laughs> yeah, I think they are. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Impressive. It... And we'll get to your name in a second. But <laughs> Wait, they got 133 million people? It Watching was, it at was the some, same time. No, the final episode of MASH. Yeah, are it was some crazy, uh, crazy number like what? that. What? Yeah. Now, now only Super Bowls get that kind of is... number. Speaking of Super Bowls, Doug, you have a new movie <laughs> that we'll talk about. <laughs> Uh, but uh, uh, Stephen Yoon is here, and thank you so much for uh, for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. This is my pleasure. Thank you so much yeah, for saying that. Absolutely, my a lot pleasure. of people have said that, but you seemed really sincere. And maybe uh, it's because you're such a great actor, but I really felt that. No, because I listen to the podcast. You do? Yeah. You're so nice. Well, What's your I favorite mean... episode? <laughs> Oh shoot! Holding your feet Does to the fire on this do one. That Does anyone way? know is... episode titles? Yeah, of... <laughs> aren't they all often rather random? <laughs> Um, Steven, is it Steven or Steve, by the way? Because uh, on Twitter, it's Steve Yoon, right? Yeah, it's actually pronounced Yun. Yun, I'm so sorry. That's not your fault. I'd never tell anybody. I just, just start, get the word out. Yeah, but then you look like that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it, Ackerman. So it, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> so, uh, 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 that's interesting. So, yeah. y- uh, Y-U-N is how I'm going to write it down in front that's of me. That's how it so should have been. That's how it should, what happened? Uh, my dad. When we came over here from Korea, he just he just wasn't thinking. Did you, and I'm interested in this topic, so this is a genuine question. Yes. Did you come over from Korea, or were you born here in the States? I was born in Korea, in South Korea, in Seoul, in 1983. Fantastic. Yep. And then how long were you there, and how long have you been here? Uh, I was there for about four years. We moved- Sounds like until you were four years old. Yeah, four years. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 88, but we moved in 88, so what happens is in Korea- you are a year older than you are in the states because your birth year is, is when you're, right. you're one when you're born. So, are you technically? Do you call yourself the the year? No, I'm American. I'm American. I'm 29. Love it or leave it. That's what I exactly. Say. <laughs> That's what I say too, all the time. 29 years old, by the way. We're hearing some sirens, and normally we would take a plane break at this point, but I don't think any of the new engineers are. Uh, have that uh, capability? No, nope, we don't have that. Oh well, that was a perfect. Did everyone hear the uh, the the sirens out there in TV land? No, I don't think so. I couldn't hear it in my camera. You couldn't hear it? Okay, I heard it plain as day. So you're 29 years. Uh, you're a 29 year old gentleman, is what I was going to say. A yeah, gentleman is. That's. <laughs> but so many gentlemen are not actually gentle men. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you seem like a very gentle man. Um, maybe maybe it's my mom's like soft uh like features that have been on added to me mm-hmm. and maybe that's what makes me feel a little gentle why doesn't glenn grow facial hair like you do <laughs> because uh it's not <laughs> this is like a his month. character doesn't grow <laughs> facial hair. you know that's a great question i mean I've, I've i've actually gone last season the beginning of the third season and asked uh, uh makeup can i have this mm-hmm. and they said i looked uh like a french um, <laughs> asshole. So, <laughs> so I can't. I don't know why. You, I don't know why you had to finish that. <laughs> yeah. You look French. <laughs> Sorry, France. <laughs> what? So there's a lot of razors uh, out there in the apocalypse, or what's happening? Yeah, you get really nice Norelco. Uh, <laughs> I was prongs. just noticing that, like Rick, Rick should grow into a full beard. It shouldn't yeah, just everyone be should have stubbly. a full beard. He should be all full. Beardy. No, Rick does have a full beard. It kind of. He's got a lot of hair, but it's still. He doesn't about, have a, a Zach. He should have like. A, yeah, he should have yeah. a Travelocity gnome hair. Yeah. <laughs> Travelocity city gnome hair. I, if I could grow it, I would totally do it. And that's just one of my nitpicks TGH. with the show, quite honestly, and we'll get through them all here. We'll... You have, you have, you're going to pick nits with him? Oh my gosh, that's the biggest one, the hair. <laughs> this isn't Robert Kirkman or Glenn Mazzara sitting before you. This is an actor doing his job. That's true. I do have a thing about hair on in movies yeah. and TV. Like, uh, I was talking with uh, someone about this who I won't say their name, but I was talking about Revolution, right? That mm-hmm. series that is kind of ripping off your show. So I didn't uh, say it. 
<laughs> so it's like everyone your show without the zombies. <laughs> every every woman and probably the men in Revolution have perfectly quaffed like amazingly like two hour and makeup hair. What is that about? Hmm. You know, like and then uh, network television. That's what it's about. Zero Dark Thirty. Jessica Chastain. Like her hair was just so luxurious and full and beautiful. I just <laughs> I don't buy it. I have a yeah. big. Anytime I see good looking hair, it just takes me right out. You know that actually makes me question that too because it's it's. If you're there, you, sometimes you're doing it just so you don't have to touch it again. Like for me, if it looks like I have slicked hair, it's so that you don't have to mess with it because mm. they'll be like, oh, we have to it reset it in place. It's here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and so it's efficient. But then sometimes it looks a little bit too good and then you're, uh, then you get caught mm -hmm. by. What's your normal so. style for the show? It's, um, it's just, I try to uh, <sighs> just get it back there because. You do it, it yourself? Well, kind of. I just they put stuff in and then I just rush it back. Just because okay, so I want. So you're touching out. your hair after the makeup people touch it, yeah, which I get, is I get a lot of a union trouble. violation. <laughs> 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 they don't run into the scene and kill a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> it gets rough. <laughs> but you like to have that kind of Joe Cool look. Um, I you've think you've described. I've read in print. Yeah, I say Joe Cool. <laughs> yeah, Joe cool. <laughs> I think it's more like uh, with Asian hair when it gets greasy. That's actually what it looks like. Yeah. But also, I just want it out of my face because mm -hmm. when this, it gets to your face, then like every new take, they have to be like, it was right here, and yeah. then you have to replace the hair, and then you're like, I'm not worried about that. Mm -hmm. Did Glenn lose his hat? Didn't he used to wear a hat a lot in yeah, the he early used to days? Wear a hat. What's good? This is another one of my big nitpicks. Did he lose show. that because he doesn't have to deliver, deliver pizzas anymore? <laughs> so he didn't there's lose no reason it. to wear the hat. He didn't lose it. Uh, he has it on occasion, but what? I think I think it's it's a natural evolution of a character to revolution. Be like, he wakes up each day, hat or no, no. hat today. <laughs> am I gonna live today and am I gonna wear my hat? <laughs> he's gotta get his lucky hat back. That's he's, what I'm saying. If you watch certain episodes, he's got it in his back pocket. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I haven't, I haven't I've seen, those seen those that episodes. look. <laughs> I haven't seen this. And show. do you guys? Do you guys uh, in, like? Do you show up to the set with your hair unwashed and? Yeah, actually, I don't wash my hair. Yeah, because yeah. everybody's hair looks really dirty. That's so, so funny. He just looked straight at me. He was like, "Well, oh, gross." <laughs> but I, I really don't like. <laughs> I was like, oh, Stephen is is pointing at a cameraman <laughs> who is particularly. Uh, he's got long flowing hair himself. Uh, I wouldn't say disheveled, but uh, it's uh, yeah. No, those are, those are great locks. Uh, yeah. There but, should be a scene where you guys are stocking up on deodorant. Like you never see that. Yeah. You never see deodorant application. There's got to be plenty of it left on the earth, and you're gonna need do you a lot think, of it. Do you think so? And here, I'd love to get your opinion on mm. this. By the way, we never found out is it Steven or Steve? Uh, Steve. You can call me Steve. Or it doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah. I think for just expediency's sake, so we can save time in this program because we have a lot of show. A lot yeah. of stuff to take talk the end about. Out. A lot of show. We want to take off the end just mm -hmm. so we can get to it a little quicker. I would quicker, do it that you know? way. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. So Steve, do you think and you've spent a lot of time, I'm sure, in your character, and you spent a lot of time like thinking about what the apocalypse must be like. Mm -hmm. Do you think the deodorant is still plentiful, or do you think it's been wiped out by this Pl point? I would say, out of sheer uh, numbers being low in people that would use deodorant, it's plentiful. So you <laughs> have it in access. I'm sure in that prison there's a ton of deodorant. Okay. In the right. prison, you think? Right. Yeah. You okay. guys should also probably stock up on Pop-Tarts. There's probably lots of those around still. <laughs> no, that would be the first thing that would go. <laughs> this isn't the Doug Benson story. <laughs> Pop-Tarts. Deodorants and Pop-Tarts. <laughs> you never see someone just sitting around eating a ding-dong <laughs> on Walking Dead. There's That's no f there's no fun food. There's no fun at all. You guys <laughs> yeah. don't have to have fun. Squirrel. Except for, spoiler alert, you and uh, Maggie in that uh, when you're supposed to be watching the prison mm. and all the zombies are approaching. Why? What were they, they doing? They again? got it on. Did you see the last episode? I don't want to. I don't want to yeah, get ahead I of you. See, I haven't seen the last. All right, episode. we won't talk about it. Well, right. actually, in that in that moment, which is surprising, like I, I did read some comments about you know people's reactions to that, and they're like, they're they gravitated towards that must have been disgusting. Like it wasn't for them. Like, oh, this is really great. They're having. They're hooking up. Well, with I haven't like, seen it yet, but uh, it, it, what's disgusting about it? The fact like, that you're outdoors. Yeah, like someone. That's, so, yeah, it's well, gross. no, someone. No, it's on, a, on like cement. Yeah. Well, like he throws either, her down on cement. And she's like, I like it. No one. One comment said, like, <laughs> imagine the crotch rot. Oh yeah, because they, uh, they don't yeah. bathe. Okay. Oh wait. So, oh okay. You're yeah. saying because they don't bathe? Are you? Were you saying because they're zombie? No, like, no, because matter? they don't bathe. That's oh, what they okay. were saying. Like it's gross because he must. They both both smell. I haven't seen this week, so I'm having a hard time picturing this. Could you describe <laughs> it and slower? Yes. What did you do? It's her? irresponsible <laughs> sex. Like pretty much all sex. <laughs> <laughs> they're supposed to be guarding the prison. <laughs> You got, you got your it's urges. even more dangerous like than sex. not using a condom. <laughs> like all sex, you're supposed to be guarding the prison. Yeah. Her womb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't take your eyes off the prize. 
Um, Steve, what is happening in Walking Dead for the rest of the season? What's going on? We we have your uh, your of course your your season finale is March thirty first mm-hmm. coming up in uh, three, three or weeks. a couple of weeks, yep. depending on when you're listening to this. And uh, so far, you know, we don't want to give away too many spoilers for people who are just like still getting into the show or who may be catching up with it. But there are zombies. Yeah. I mean, th- right. that's that's about it. There's a big St. Patrick's Day celebration coming yeah, up on the, the show. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day episode. And then <laughs> yeah. the Easter episode is going to be great. Easter episode, yeah. yeah where Je- does Jesus, Jesus come back as a zombie? Back from the dead. Wow. <laughs> it's a bottle. It's the a original bottle zombie. <laughs> <laughs> He's OZ. Be, uh, that is so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's zombie zero. And your character, if we can talk about your character, you, yeah. you're still avoiding spoilers, but you uh, got the shit beaten out of you this mm-hmm. season. And um, how was that? That was interesting. I, that was maybe the most fun I've had on the show ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just, Rooker seems like some an actor that would uh, accidentally not pull his punches, like he'd hit oh, you too hard. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is like not because, not for you know, not because he's a bad guy, but just because he's he's so, acting. Yeah, it's Rooker, an intense scene. <laughs> being opposite of Rooker is a whole lot of fun because that guy mm-hmm. will make you mad yeah. on purpose. <laughs> He's on Doug's this. show quite often. By the way, Doug uh, has a podcast, Doug Loves Movies. Yeah, yeah. He was just on it the one time. But oh, really? I yeah, thought he's yeah. been on several he times. He has an open invitation if he can. <laughs> one other time he was supposed to be there and he didn't show up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy's incredible. I mean, he's he's a uh, great remember... actor, nice guy, but yeah. mm-hmm. woohoo. <laughs> what? Uh... Crazy, crazy finger from sea of, sea of Love. Yeah. Right? When we played the Leonard Maltin game, he didn't recognize that that movie. <laughs> that he was in Sea of Love. I, list, I listed off practically everybody in the cast. He's like, I have no idea what that movie is. <laughs> <laughs> you were in it, Sea of Love. <laughs> and when I said Al Pacino, he finally went, oh, yeah, I, okay. <laughs> I was in something with Al Pacino. <laughs> wow. Um, so so you, you've you been beaten up. You're, you're at the end of your rope, I would imagine. And mm-hmm. it's all coming down to this. It's all coming down to the season finale. There, yeah. There's been a lot of death. Over the, uh, the the three years, mm-hmm. and some of the people who are alive still in the comics are not alive on the show, and vice versa. Yeah. So who knows what's going on with you? You know. Right. I mean, that's the joy of the show is you is, don't. There's no parallel. Is no there direction. joy is Glenn in the alive show? in the comic book? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. Well, well, I, don't, I don't want to give spoilers spoil away that. to the comic book either. Really? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to spoil that. Okay. But he's a he's a big integral part of the comic book for a long time. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So are you caught up. The uh, with the comic, yes. Wow, that's but, awesome. But uh, I missed this week of your show because I was at South by Southwest. That's you're fine. I'm good. Yeah, you're so, good. Okay. When a hotel room doesn't have AMC, I throw the TV out the window. My TV, by the way, <laughs> I want to talk about my my hotel so a little bit uh, at, at South by Southwest. <laughs> but I was staying in the Driscoll, which they all say is haunted, right? And the, all the staff takes. Uh, and by the way, I met a very uh, uh, great guy, Aaron, uh, at, at the staff. He was a great guy and took a lot of pains to tell me about all the haunted stories happening at the Driscoll. But I think it's just an excuse for their like hotel to be kind of shitty, and then they go, "It's haunted," because. <laughs> I came, they told me about all these things, like lights would turn on and off. I came back to the room. Every single time I left the room and would come back to it, there would be a tiny shit in the toilet. <laughs> like a ghost shit. And that's, what? I swear, and it wasn't mine, but I think it's just a plumbing problem that they have there. But they can <laughs> blame it on ghosts Something creeps back now. up into, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's ghost poop. Every Every single time I would come in, there'd be a, a like a just a little tiny shit in the that toilet. That didn't scare you. That, that you weren't like. I was horrified. <laughs> I, was, I ran screaming. He's the no first turd time I whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks to the Driscoll, things. we'd love for you to uh, sponsor us if you're listening to us. <laughs> um, but uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Walking Dead. So it's all coming down to this. It's it's such a drag when the show is not on. You know what I mean? Is like, it really? Get the show back on for more. How many do you do? Thirteen? Sixteen? Ah, still. Yeah. You know, there's 52 weeks in a year, Steve. We should, yeah, we should be working year round. This is another nitpick I have. <laughs> I hate it when it's not on. I want to watch it. I want to be. I want to be depressed. I want to see, you know, just zombies being hacked to death <laughs> in new ways. Eaten. Yeah, you know. It's uh, it's it's pretty intense. The 16 that we turn out. Mm-hmm. I think uh, you give a case study in our cast and crew, and maybe five years, we're all going to be in some sort of like. Like yeah, homeostasis. mental hospital. Mental hospital. Uh, like we'll have some sort of disease. It'll be do you, great. I have a theory here, and it's just developing. So I just want to talk it out. Okay, what do you think, Doug? Yeah, yeah. You, you got my back on this one. Go ahead. I think spitball it, Stephen or Steve, as I like to call him. Sure. I think he dies. I think he dies in this in the finale, and that's why he's doing press here. 
Mm-hmm. I've seen I've seen you pop he, up on other podcasts. He and has, stuff. but that's because they're done shooting for the season. It's not like he's showing no, he's up trying, because he, they're there shooting and he isn't. He's trying to get he's trying to get his face out there yeah. so that he can springboard into something else, some sitcom or something. He's trying. That's what I think. I'm trying I to heard get on, they need a new kid on uh, Two and a Half Men. I'm trying to get on Last Man he's Standing. Been, he's been lippy. <laughs> <laughs> so they gotta replace him. <laughs> I think they need that new. Uh, that was it. Two broke girls has that Asian guy on it. Yes, a new Asian guy, please. Some new stereotype for them to bounce off of. Jeez. Wouldn't that be horrible if every acting job you got was just replacing another eight, like not adding to the amount of minority actors <laughs> yeah, on, just like, on shows? One of them dies, get another one in. Yeah, just get him in there. It's like uh, it's like Coach and Woody. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but uh, show from, from Toy the, Story? Show from the 50s. No, cheers. <laughs> yes, I know. Originally, though, I thought you were talking about the sitcom coach and Woody from Toy Story. Oh, yeah. And they had some sort of like uh, exchange student program going on. <laughs> All right, guys, we have to take a break. Let's take a small little break. We have another guest coming in. And uh, uh, is it okay if we take this break? I don't know. What do you guys think? Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm okay with it. You're okay with it? I, yeah. I don't want to do anything if it's not all right with you guys. I mean, it's this your is, show. The, yeah, other, this is not like any show I've ever been on. I've never been asked if, don't the, say. If, if we can go to a break or not. I like to be polite in that way. All right. Is it, it all right then if let's I go not to a go break? to a break. Let's just go straight through. Fuck. Yeah, see, that's why you don't ask me. <laughs> I'd also not like to go on a break, actually. <laughs> all right, well, great. You cancel each other out. Great. Okay, so we will go to a break. Wait, wait, and, wait. Uh, great. Well, you said it. That all right. Wasn't... Let us go to a break. When we come right back, we'll have more Comedy Bang Bang, more Steven or Steve, Yun, and more Doug Bensoon. <laughs> and we will be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. Hello, viewers, watchers, friends, peepers. I want to tell you how I spend my time when I'm not crafting this brilliant podcast, all right? What I like to do is I like to listen, as all of you do, to audiobooks. That is right. And do you know where I get them? I get them at audible.com. Have you ever heard of Audible? I think you have because I talk about it every single week on this show, okay? Look, I personally am working my way through their huge selection of titles, and I highly recommend that you check them out. You can listen to great books and great comedy albums. People forget about these comedy albums. Do not forget about them. Like the marijuana logs with my good friend of 30 years, Doug Bensoon. You can even get your first selection free and a 30-day free trial when you go to audible.com slash earwolf live. And guess what? You can't guess? Well, I will tell you. You can even use whisper sync to switch back and forth between your devices, between listening on your Kindle. No, you read on your Kindle. You listen on your MP3 player. You know that. Listen on your MP3 player, read on your Kindle, switch back and forth, never lose your place. That's what WhisperSync is, okay? So, use WhisperSync to keep yourself on track and cop the new iPad app, all right? The new iPad app. That's what I want to tell you. It's on iTunes. It's a new iPad app. It's for Audible. Don't forget to go to audible.com slash Earwolf Live for your 30-day free trial and free audiobook selection. That is audible.com slash E A R. W O L F L I V E. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring the show, and I will see you never at the library. Welcome back to the show, Comedy Bang Bang. We are back here. I have Steve and Yun and Doug Bensoon here, and uh, we're having a great time. And actually, uh, since we are recording this, you may be listening to it on a podcast, but we uh, are recording this, and you can actually watch it on YouTube as it's happening or in the future. Uh, we took some questions from the YouTube watchers who are watching it live. So uh, let me take... Uh, okay, let, this one's for Stephen first. Hey, Stephen, says Aaron's a film nerd, oh. so you know it's going to be specific. Mm-hmm. Stephen, do all other cast members of Walking Dead make fun of you for not having a British accent? That's so specific. Very, um, he's a film nerd. That's true. Aaron is. <laughs> um, no. What does I, Maggie have? She has like an Australian thing. She's so. she's British, but she grew oh. up. She was born in Jersey and then moved to 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 the UK. But, what does UK stand for? Uh, United Kingdom. Okay. Uh, no, they don't. I mean, why would they? There's only two of them, right? There's three of them. Three British people? Who's yeah. Rick and... Uh, the governor. 
Oh, the governor. Yeah, David the Morris. governor. Well, you can tell governor. by his name, governor, of course. Yes. Yeah. Are they are they the type of actors who the minute they stop saying their lines, they slip back right back into their their Britishisms? You know, Andy Lincoln does not. He really? stays in character, the, not character, but in in, in, in dialogue. American he probably also dialogue. stays crazy shit. too. <laughs> <laughs> this comes to us from Henry Campos. Henry asks Doug on a scale from one to Snoop Dogg, how high are you currently? <laughs> It's, the first part's a number, and the second mm-hmm. part's a name. Yeah. So that's a weird scale. So there we go. It's an All interesting right. scale. <laughs> here we go. We have uh, uh, our, our next guest is here with and us. And it's Snoop Lion also. That's so true. Yeah. Respect. 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 So Respect. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> um, we have our next guest here, and um, <laughs> he's glaring at me currently. He's been sitting here kind of silently. It's just my face. <laughs> it's just, just your, a natural that's sign That's just of my what face. he looks like, yeah. Guys, we we've had him on this show many times. That's right. His name is to save it. His name is Buddy Valestro or Va- Valestro Crossable Bell. Every single time you get a roll. That's right. Okay, and uh, we all know him as the Cake Boss. Cake please, boss. please welcome the Cake Boss himself. Cake Boss. Cake Boss. Cake Boss. <laughs> of course, welcome to Cake Boss. I've got Ox Cake Boss. I've got Ox. Thank you. Oh, shaking hands, which we don't normally do on the podcast, <laughs> that's but right. well, the world the, is watching. Yeah, we don't want so to we seem have to put ungenteel. On, that's right. Put on a good face for kids. <laughs> kids need to learn how to shake their hands. They do. Kids are rude. They are. What's the worst thing about kids? What is the worst thing about bull, kids to you? Oh, get They like cake <laughs> so much, they forget their manners. Oh, I can imagine stick- that would be a problem for you. It's a big problem. They stick their hands right in the cake. They don't even wait for a fork or a knife. Mm. Sometimes I make a dense cake that requires a knife to cut. <laughs> but these kids, they just stick their disgusting paws in there, grab a handful, and shove it in their faces. Their it's, fat faces. It's unsanitary. That's what it is. And another thing, I want to get your opinion on this issue. All right. Birthday cakes, okay? Yeah. You make them. All the time. Too many. So. I wish more people would die instead of being born. <laughs> it, it almost seems like the, it's out of balance, and, and Stephen, you Going out of Scotsy. Yeah, of course, life out of balance. But um, I think that it's rude to have these candles on a birthday cake and then have someone just spitting all over this thing that you're going to eat. What do you think about that? I teach classes at my cake kitchen how to properly blow out the candles on the birthday cake because you don't want saliva to get in there because it's disgusting for everybody. How can you possibly how can you do, do this? How do you do it, Cake Boss? It's Cake Boss. It's all about uh, breath control, uh, which I learned from one of my heroes, Francis Alba Sinatra, the sure. chairman of the board. Uh, he he learned- used to be a trumpet player, That's- so of course. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, he did. He was a trumpet player. He was and not a trumpet learned- player. That's how he learned the breath. He learned it from a trumpet player. From one of the Dorsey brothers. He okay. was not a trumpet player. Maybe I'm getting that story wrong. How dare you? I'm not, Disrespect! I'm not a, a New Jersey hero! Mark Marone! Oh boy, oh boy. You get me with that every time. That's not a legitimate Italian curse. <laughs> it should be. But you can, if you're not Italian, you can say it. Why not? Yeah, why not? Enjoy. Other people have said Mark Marone. Uh, okay, uh, so, uh... I, What's your question? I, I don't... Even if you were to blow up, over the cake, it still would like land in someone's lap. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta focus your breathing. You make your mouth like a little uh, a tunnel, right? Mm-hmm. Where you get it. That doesn't look like a tunnel to me. It's a mouth tunnel. <laughs> All right. Of course, it doesn't look like why you think uh, I, I like the Road Runner or Wiley Coyote. I'm gonna paint a tunnel on my face. I think so. Yes. Yeah, I thought you thought that. <laughs> You're mistaken. You make you make uh, <laughs> your mouth like a little, uh, uh, very focused, uh, 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 concentrated little aperture, and then you go with all your might. You got to do it from deep down in your soul. You blow just a direct shot of air. So it's all all uh, air and no saliva. I heard that phlegm come out of you when you just I did it. I can't do it for real. Plus, it looks like you're sucking this, the world's tiniest straw when you do that. <laughs> Like if you're condescendingly sorry for someone, <laughs> yeah. I'm sucking the world out of your straw just for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't like you it. You don't know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Steve, what do you think about this? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> jump in. You should just get electric <laughs> candles from now on. I think that should be exactly. a mandated law. Exactly. Yeah, electric you, candles. Oh, oh, very nice. I'm glad I heard from the peanut gallery <laughs> about how to deal with cakes. But it turns out I'm the boss of them. Uh, here's why uh, you cannot have electric candles around the cake because frosting is an amazing conductor of electricity, oh. and it would electrocute everybody at the birthday party. 
Even somebody who's been struck by lightning twice. Huh. I don't, I don't like the cord that you have to lay across the cake, too. That's true. That'd you, be you rough. Know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I just don't like it. I, I do like those joke candles. You know no, what I mean? No, well, you blow them, and then they go out, and then they go back to life. Do you, do you, yeah, really? A, they're reincarnated of... like Walking Dead? <laughs> this is they're zombie candles? Yeah, they're zombie candles. <laughs> I feel like you'll be willfully obtuse. <laughs> do you sell those in your cake kitchen? Do you sell candles? Do you sell the accoutrement, or do you just make the cakes? We sell some accessories, of course. Are because... you like a shoe store that sells socks? That's exactly what I would think of myself. <laughs> what are some of the other things that come with a cake, Cake Boss? Oh, Cake Boss. There's uh, the special cake knives. Special cake knives. I've never the heard triangular... of the you never... Use a them. regular knife. What do people need to... This is ridiculous. Because you can cut... I'll tell you why you need it. Ridiculous. Oh. Because you can... It's a special triangular knife. Got out of triangular knife? Can... Yes. Stop repeating the things I say. I hate when people repeat things that other people say. What about uh, Cake Boss? Cake Boss. <laughs> Here's what you do. You have a triangular knife. You cut the cake. You twist your wrist a little bit. Now you're serving the cake. Are you to doing a, bunch a of dance? Children. Is this a is this a fifties rock and roll be. song? I don't know why it never was. <laughs> you get a triangular. You get knife. a triangular knife, then you cut the cake, then yeah, you, you flip it your wrist, wrist, then you're serving the cake. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a dance. It's a song and a dance. That's right. <laughs> Everybody out on the dance floor going like this. You put your cake knife in. You take your cake knife out. <laughs> That's the hokey pokey. We're gonna. Oh, run sorry. Come on. Sorry, come on. Come on. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. A million dollars to, to... It's a great tool. Everybody wants to rip it <laughs> off, but... Uh, but you know. no, it's copyrighted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so, Cake Boss, do you cake. sell socks, by the way? I do sell socks. I sell cake socks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Love to hear about those. The socks made of cake oh, that yeah. uh, you can put them on your feet. The end. Sounds so horrible. Well. Sounds they horrible. They don't sell well. I'll be, I'll, I'll be candid with you. They don't sell Nobody so well. Nobody wants that. No, but the idea was, hey, are you on the go? You hate wearing shoes? Uh, this is when Jack Johnson was big. And uh, I thought a lot of people were going to be like, oh, March of 1998. That's right, yeah. I'll put, uh, I'll, put, uh, right cake socks. I'll put cake socks on my feet, and then I can nibble at the cake socks. And then before you know it, I got bare feet, just mm. like my hero, Jack Johnson. <laughs> sure, that makes a lot of sense. That's right. We all have to wear shoes, yeah. but these we can nibble on and That's then right. be a, end up like our hero. Yeah. I don't know so which I would less want in my mouth, the part of the uh, cake sock that's been on the ground or the part of the cake sock that's been touching my foot. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a lose-lose on that. Is this a the would you rather question? Of, yeah. course, of course you're not eating the pod that you're walking on. Uh, you're just eating like around your ankle area. So wait, these cake socks have tread underneath that are inedible? Nope. Okay. Just cake. All right. <laughs> but you're not eating. Wildly them. impractical. I think that was another <laughs> point against it. Why people didn't enjoy them. Um, now, S Steve... <laughs> It must be fascinating. You're a television star. We can, I mean, you're. A, would you? You'd consider yourself a star. I think there's more to the question, Steve. To be fair, <laughs> I don't like that word. Star. star. You're a shooting star that's been that's... shot up into the night sky. We watch your show at night. Biggest show in cable and uh, bigger than a lot of. Let's just say. TV. Let's just say television participant. Okay. All right. Oh, so yeah, that's uh, interesting. And Cake Boss, would you consider yourself to be a TV star? Yes. Okay. Without a doubt. So this may I have be my own show named after me. This may be a little unequal then. Oh, maybe when Glenn becomes a zombie, then technically you are the title character. That's what I would like mm. to see because I think I think I I think you're dead at the end of the season. Ooh. But I'd love for you to get away and you be like the first zombie who learns how to run, and then you're just <laughs> like always fucking with them. You know, like you're always yeah. like, they're waking up in the jail and all of a sudden they hear clonk clonk clonk, and it's Glenn. And you're just like guess who? And then you like they run. Just bolt. Yeah, and you're the first zombie to learn how to talk too. too. Sure. You can talk. Be... You can fall in love, like in warm bodies. Mm -hmm. And it's just—it's called Glenn after that. <laughs> That's with an I exclamation think, point. Yeah, walking well, Glenn. That'd be great. What if it's a spit off like Joey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where he Glenn gets... goes out to California, gets an apartment <laughs> with right. his brother. Yeah, Adrian from The Sopranos is all there. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be so bad. Sounds yeah. pretty good, guys. We better mail it to ourselves. <laughs> So, speaking of good guys, you're both good guys, and I think that... Uh, I think we're good fellows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you, Stephen, you must have a question for the Cake Boss. Cake you're, boss. you're on TV. You simply must. You're on TV at the same time, at yeah. the same point well, in history. You yeah. must have a million questions. I'd love to hear you ask one of them. We could talk shop. Okay, okay, I wonder why there aren't any savory cakes. Oh, there are, pizza, but pizza there, flavor. it's by accident. Uh, in England, they have this thing where... They think everything's a pie, everything's a cake. Some of those things Shepherd's are not. Shepherd's pie, for instance. That's not a pie. Blech. First of all, uh, uh, I hate pie. It can burn in hell. Yeah, exactly. 
uh, if you eat pie, you're a disgusting monster. And the people who who eat pie and who make pies are the worst people on earth, right? Yeah. I, I wish that they would get slow stomach cancer. Yeah. It's tantamount to child pornographers. But what's the difference? <laughs> can, you, a- can you spot the differences? So you don't watch the show Pie Lord? <laughs> I thought it was called Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boss. King boss. <laughs> so, yeah, so, but that is a great question. Yeah, I, I know that people like to experiment with uh, the pudding uh, what salt. They like to what now? Douche experiment. Douche experiment. <laughs> experiment. Douche experiment? <laughs> experiment. I got access. <laughs> it's a dialect. It's, it's not regional. An it's regional. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> people like to, excuse me. Experiment, happy. <laughs> they like to uh, put salt uh, from the sea on some uh, chocolate. And then they're like, oh, this is a, I feel like a Roman emperor combining these things. <laughs> uh, I'm like Caligula. Hey, horse, you're the mayor of this town now. Uh, but uh, <laughs> salt is actually an ingredient in cake making. Of all the ingredients now, nor- that you have. Yeah, I was going to say, you said ingredient first and then. And then uh... Yeah, you have an ingredient. And then you have more, and you have ingredients. <laughs> okay, that's the distinction. Okay, I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's called plurals. <laughs> What's with this guy? Say distinction. Distinction. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is this? We're naming words? I don't know. We just like to hear you talk. It's you fun, yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's certainly <laughs> flattering. So, so my point is, uh, ca- uh, sh- uh, salt is, of course, an ingredient in the cake making, uh, but you can't put too much in there because then it's like a weird sponge of salt. <laughs> It's like a salt lick. Salt lick? Yeah. Who you wants say, that? You, Horses. So, would you like a savory cake? Is that why you ask? N- I mean, just. Like a cake you'd eat as a meal. Oh, Steve, I got no time to make you a savory cake. I'm so busy making other cakes all the time. He, all, he has five hours for you to do it. Oh, if only you're giving me six hours. Oh. I need something to happen in the middle, though, that's dramatic. Like, you almost drop it, though. What? You mean in life? No, just when you make the cake. You, you have to, while you're, I didn't hey, try. Hey, what are you doing? Italian accent yeah, <laughs> That yeah, was what's going I'm on. Saying, here. Really making a cake. Making a cake. Making you, a cake. Boy, making a cake. Boy. You gotta like. That would be like really interesting if you went back and Glenn had an Italian accent. I next, think next that's year. what I'm gonna try for. You're for just me. like, <laughs> and you and you set it up in the first episode. You're like, you tell everyone like Maggie and everyone. You're like. I'm trying on this new Italian <laughs> yeah, accent. And then you just do it all season. You're like, go kill the zombies. I'm going to get some prize. What if, what if Glenn gets hit on the head and uh, he becomes like uh, an Italian count or something? <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. And he's like, hey, how come all of these zombies uh, around here? This I, is not uh, good for my castle. I have a friend who was hit on the head. He was walking outside and he was walking underneath like some sort of flower pot or something like oh, that. Sure. And he was hit on the head. Mm-hmm. And he was actually, he's an English lawyer. Lord, mm-hmm. And he all of a sudden thought that he was a janitor. It was really, it was, it's a strange story. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That really... strange credulity, Scott Oxman. Yeah, I don't, uh, a lot of people <laughs> thought that... it strange credulity. <laughs> What's that story called? Uh, the story of episode 180 <laughs> something. Sure. That's a good title for a story. I got a title for your book, Cake Boss. Cake Boss, what's that? Cake Boss, Cake, cake Boss, Cake Boss. Cake Boss, Cake Boss, Cake Boss. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wrote a book. I already wrote a book. It's not called Cake Boss, Cake Boss? It's not called Cake Boss, Cake Boss, Cake Boss, Cake Boss. It's, <laughs> it's just called, hey, uh, what do you want from me? Here's some cakes. Hmm. How'd it do? It did, it did okay. You yeah. know, I, I had high hopes, but, yeah. uh, you know, at the end, I saw it in the remainder section, and uh, I got a little sad. The I remainders put, of the day. I put my life into that book. Sorry, I don't my, mean to joke about it. So, yeah. No, it's, it's funny. You make a, a play on a movie title. That's good stuff. The movie was The Remains of the Day, and then I said The oh, Remains of the Day. Oh, I understood it. I understood it. I had to make a Remains of the Day cake one time. Did you really? Yeah. What would that be? Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, It was a little, I had a little uh, fondant Anthony Hopkins, right? <laughs> and he's turning away from a little uh, fondant uh, Emma Thompson, mm-hmm. and uh, they could never, the, it was the uh, part, two parts of the cake that could never be together, because the one part was too reserved. And then did the person who get the cake, were they living out their sort of like, you know, shipper fantasies where they were putting the two of them together? And... Yeah, it was a sad person Yeah, commissioned that cake. Yeah. Oh, who was it? It's, it was a famous person, I remember you telling me. It was Rudolph Giuliani. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he was between wives. <laughs> he wanted the remains of the day cake. Yeah. Interesting. Amazing. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you what, guys. Why... I didn't pick him. I didn't pick him for a Merchant Ivory fan. <laughs> what would you think he'd be a fan of? 
Mm, harmony Kareem? <laughs> Possibly. I don't you, even put him in the cake category, that guy. Oh, Giuliani. I got guy? him mixed up with Bloomberg. <laughs> you think he's a pie guy? You think Giuliani's a pie guy? No, he's a cake guy. Do you think Bloomberg is a pie guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, who, he who, is. Who are some of the worst Because they're healthier. Rich. Who are some of the worst pie guys you've ever met? Whoa, Shadow Stevens. Oh. <laughs> uh, Fred Rated. Of course, uh, kick. <laughs> Kim Jong Il, of course. <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, rest his soul. Uh, he's a terrible pie. Wait, fan. you? I thought you said you, you hope they burn in hell, and now you're saying rest his soul. Yeah, but I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Oh, I don't. While, while they're still alive, they burn can go hell. to hell. Yes. Okay. But once you're dead, you know, it's, oh, okay. it's yeah, a he shame. might be there. Yeah. Uh, who else? Ulysses S. Grant. Mm-hmm. Um. What is this list? I forgot. Pie, but notorious the pie worst people. Pie okay. people. Oh. I, I've heard that you won't even say the word paisan because it says pie in there. Yeah, I just and you're people, Italian, and that's I call tough for you. Zon. And you refuse to play pie gal, also. <laughs> yeah, that, I've heard. that comes up less than you would think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't never go, you never go down gal. to commerce and play don't, some pie gal. Don't get a lot of pie gal invitations. What would you call Steve Zahn? Zahn, my Zahn? Well, he's not Italian, so I wouldn't. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I don't know what his origin is. I don't know. We're gonna Zon? find this out. It's Steve? exciting because his name's got a Z in it. Steve, if you're watching, go uh, comment on oh, YouTube.com. What if he's from the future? You think he to be watching, you'd have to be from the future? Well, because his name is Zod. It sounds like a future name. That is true. He does sound like some weird kind of alien. Thoughts? Do you mm. think he's related to Super? I met him once. I met him once. I bothered him in England with Matthew McConaughey. And I felt really terrible about Wait, it. He Wait, he was with Matthew McConaughey. You and yeah, Matthew you were McConaughey with... bothered Steve Zahn in England? I bothered Matthew McConaughey and Steve Zahn at the same time. Because mm -hmm. we were there watching the World Series, some World Series where the Yankees were about to win. It was in England. And then I said, could I have The World a... Series was not in England. No. First of all, your story does not check uh, out. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was on a it was on a TV in England. On a TV in England. And mm. so... They have TVs uh, over there. They do. Right. Telly, Slightly telly, more they call believable. It. Slightly. <laughs> and uh, I said, hey, uh, huge fan. And then I couldn't remember at the time what I was a huge fan of oh. at the time. You have to provide credit. You do. And then uh, they'll quiz Sahara you. Did they probably quiz you? hadn't come out yet if they were just hanging out together, right? Were what? they in Sahara together? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Oh, that's probably what it was. Oh, so. yeah. Do you think while you were bothering them, do you think uh, you interrupted them bothering each other? <laughs> <laughs> that could be because maybe Steve Zahn's just trying to get a, a slice of za, and uh, oh, boy. <laughs> and then uh, or some I've, fish and chips. I haven't seen you in a while. I forgot how you are. <laughs> and uh, and and then uh, Matthew McConaughey comes rolling up to him. He's like, "Well, all right, all right, all right." Do, did he have a shirt on? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. It was a tight shirt, real tight. It was really tight, really. I think like, that's that's how I choose to remember. So tight where it's like I might as well not be wearing a shirt. Yeah, this is you know what I mean. I mean that's how skin. you should always remember Matthew McConaughey. I think he just either no shirt or that's tight how shirt. we always will. Yeah, yeah. God, God rest his soul. Sorry. He's dead, right? He died today. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Scoop, yeah. scoop. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, let's started the conversation with that part. Yeah, no, we should have brought that up earlier. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you're watching yeah. this live, Matthew McConaughey died earlier today. Um, I thought the prayers are with the McConaughey family. Of course, yeah. He has no family, of course, but uh, he was a filthy orphan, as we all know about Matthew McConaughey. But, yeah, uh, yeah, and now his child is a filthy orphan because. Yep. Mm -hmm. He just had a kid. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. on that note, let's take a break and uh, let's reflect upon the McConaughey legacy. And yeah. when we come back, we'll be right back with more Steve Yun, more Doug Bensoon, and more Cake Boss. We'll be right Kick back. Boss. Ah. Doug Bensoon. Welcome back to the show, Comedy Bang Bang. We're here with Steven Yun. We're here with Doug Bensoon, and we are here with Cake Boss. Cake who Boss. You see, you look mad. Is there something it's the matter? It's just the natural set of my face. I guess, but here's... From years of being stressed out about making cakes, this is what the what I have done to myself. Here's what I think you're mad about, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we're recording this on March 14th. <laughs> is this your least favorite day? <laughs> Girishable! Why do you have to mention it, too? It's, of course, Pi Day. Pi 3.14. They try to fool me, first of all, by taking the E off, and then also making it about math. But I know that it's really about the food. Yeah. It's pie day, mm. pie day. Everybody <laughs> loves pie well, day. You tried to get us in trouble with all kinds of uh, all kinds of yeah. legalities. Come on. This uh, guy. What about who, <laughs> Do you what? think that girl even wrote that song down somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> or just went right into the studio? It never occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> she just freestyled it? She totally freestyled <laughs> What 
Cake Boss, do you think about Cake Day? Why can't we have a cake day? Why don't you Why spearhead can't... this initiative? Why do you want to just sit there and have everything be handed to you? Why don't you fight for it yourself? I tried to, but I'm not good with math. I said, how come that can't be a number? A number that adds up to cake. Isn't every day cake day? <sighs> Steve, that's what I like to say. Yes. But a lot of people say to me, no, it's not every day. It's only some days, special occasions. And I say, Make every day a special occasion mm. with a cake. Do you eat cake every day? Yeah, every single day. That's all every, I eat. Every single meal? <laughs> every single meal. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I ate a food that was not cake. Do you think that one of the things that bit you, we all know that you've been bitten by a cake bug, a cake by scarab. Bitten by a cake bug, bitten by a cake a scarab, cake wolf. bitten by a cake wolf. <laughs> do you remember that time I got bit by a cake zombie? Oh, oh yeah, I do remember. That's right. Be careful. Uh, do you think that one <laughs> you of the- You do have to be careful. Yeah. This is what I try to tell people. Do you think that one of those times has turned you into some sort of uh, other being that doesn't need to eat real food and vegetables anymore? I don't know. I, I don't feel great. How are your teeth? Not good. They're pretty soft. Hmm. Hmm. They're pretty soft. Like if I were to poke one- would Probably it... go right down my throat. <laughs> so don't. <laughs> well, I'd appreciate I it. I kind of want to poke one I, now. No, resist the, You think I don't want to poke all my teeth down my throat? Of course I do. <laughs> like, drives me crazy. Gummy that, bears? This, gummy bears soft? Yeah, probably gummy bears soft. Like, uh, but not sticky. Not sticky. <laughs> you think they're <laughs> going be to disgusting. be, but they're not. You don't have sticky teeth. <laughs> do you... I was just asking about his hair. You have a luxurious head of hair. Oh, thank you. So that must be... Cake must be responsible for that. I think it gives it a certain luster. <laughs> Like uh, a dog having a shiny coat because mm -hmm. they eat some uh, dog food that has egg in it. <laughs> There's plenty of eggs in cake. That's true. That's There's, uh, true. I remember Bill Cosby talked about that. <sighs> the best comedy routine of all time. <laughs> <laughs> when he talks about making his talks kids about the cake football? for breakfast. Oh, no. Talking, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about Noah, actually. <laughs> no. that's, that's a he also had a great good. routine that's about going good. to the dentist, too, though. Yeah, that's, true. that's true. They yeah. would go hand in hand. So, that yeah. was on the same record. It was almost like two sides of the mm. same coin he, or two sides of the same record. He just told stories from his life, and we all related to them. Yeah. Uh, we have some questions coming from uh, viewers, and unfortunately, we didn't get the name of this viewer. Viewers, this, what are you talking about? Uh, well, the, this is live on YouTube uh, as we're doing Why? it. Why? I don't know. So uh, this comes to us. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have his or her name, but this is for Stephen. Uh, Stephen, what would happen if you were bitten by a cakewalker? Oh, I'd uh, probably turn into Cake Boss. Cake Boss Jr. Cake Boss Jr. I'd or like to see that. You'd be yeah. about half the size. Half of the cake... size. Uh, half just... the girth. But soft is just Whoa, a soft. You teeth. had to mention girth, didn't you? <laughs> I'm just uh, had to get that party in. Party on girth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, boy, oh boy. That would that would knock the wind out of me a little bit. <laughs> I'd do it more party, when you're here. Party on girth. <laughs> Uh, this this comes to us uh, from uh, probably going to diabetic shock if you got <laughs> bit by a cakewalker. Yeah, that's probably more likely. Maybe so. Mm -hmm. This comes to us from Bliznick. Bliznick asks, "Cake boss, cake boss, what's the most erotic cake you've ever made?" Oh, ho, ho, what a saucy question from mm -hmm. Bliznick. It is it's a little inappropriate, but I'll take it. Uh, sometimes people come into the cake kitchen and they say, "Cake boss, I want cake to boss. make cake, cake boss." What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. People come into the cake kitchen and they say, Cake Boss, I want you to make a a, a bit of a naughty cake because... Uh, <laughs> do they I, really put their hand up like that when yeah, they do it? Yeah, the hand. They, they put up the hand They don't shield. want passers-by to see what they're saying? Yeah, lip readers. Mm -hmm. You know how people... There's, there's thieves that hang out at the gas station with binoculars so they can read your credit card number. Sure. Uh, there's people that are hanging out across the street from bakeries. They can lip read, and they're waiting to see people ordering erotic cakes. Then they pleasure then themselves they blackmail in the street. Them. They black uh, oh, I, I thought they blackmailed No, they those should people. blackmail. They just jerk yeah, off. Would, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much money you could get from uh, just <laughs> revealing the secret. I know what kind of cake you cake. ordered last summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Douglas <Dr>. movies. <laughs> he does. He just so, proved um, it. The most erotic cake mm -hmm. uh, that I ever was commissioned to make. Thought I heard somebody's phone make a noise over there. That, but that would be wildly <laughs> unprofessional. <laughs> um, this uh, this guy came in and he said, "My wife and I, we've been married for seventy five years." What? How he old was, must he have been? He was old as sin. Oh. Uh, probably in the in the high one fifties, I think he was. <laughs> so he got married at seventy five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Probably late in life. He was a late bloomer. Okay. So uh, he said, my, the, my love for my wife knows no bounds. Uh, my I'll, wife. What's that? My wife. Nothing, my wife. I don't understand this repeating stuff. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. <laughs> so um, this guy <laughs> said, my love for my wife is the most my beautiful wife. thing in the world. <laughs> This keeps happening. <laughs> so this guy says, I'm married to this lady. I love her so much. <laughs> this lady. I would like, hmm, you made a stretch on those movies. Um, so uh, he says, I, I, I want to reinvigorate our sex life. I said, this is too much information. TMI, TMI of course. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Party on Earth. So um, <laughs> he says, I want to make her a beautiful, loving cake, but that is also very erotic so we can look at it. Mm -hmm. It'll get us all hot, and mm -hmm. then we'll eat the cake and smear it all over each other Ew. like they did it. Mm -hmm. uh, how many weeks was it? No, I believe it was uh, a shy of 10. Yeah, it was more than nine, mm -hmm. but less than 10. Yeah, it it's didn't. A, I remember it. It somehow was like uh, at the midpoint of the week, so like uh, at about noon on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, Hump Day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no so, mistake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that entire movie took place on Hump Day, as a matter of fact. Really? Yeah, it I did. didn't realize that. Yeah, it was all in real time too. A lot of people don't realize that. <laughs> well, I didn't movie. realize that myself. Yeah, of course, it's like an episode of Twenty Four. There's plenty of people who don't even realize what movie you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. Those movies. Hey, we're not doing it for you know those people who don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, we're who... doing it for the smart people who get it. That's right. Who cares about the audience? Um, so uh, he said, I want you to make uh, something that's uh, tasteful, mm -hmm. uh, but it certainly uh, will appeal to uh, someone's baser nature. Instincts, sure. Yes, okay. instincts, basic instinct. Did, um, he, did he give you any instructions other than that, or did he leave it up to your sort of imagination? Yeah, he said, uh, make it a lady fucking a horse. <laughs> That was probably, <laughs> probably the most erotic cake that I've made. Not, a, not a specific lady, though. <laughs> no, he said a nice lady. Okay. Oh, okay. So, how did you sort of incorporate her niceness into the design? She was smiling. Yeah, she had a, a polite a specific, smile on her face. Specific horse? <laughs> no, I was any horse and I was any lady. To make it any horse any two that, that you could get together. Yeah. Was she wearing on like a cardigan? Notice. Like a cardigan to keep keep it down. She had a shrug on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pearl necklace. All right. Well, this comes to us from uh, Ken Hatch. Line, Nothing really. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was actually never mind. You were you shrugging in lieu of the audience? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. This comes to us from Ken Hatch. Ken Hatch. What's that screen name mean? I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe a Lost fan? Mm. Yeah. He asked Cake no, Boss, Cake Boss, what do you think Cake of Boss. what do you think of Life of Pi? The movie. Doug loves movies, he probably loves it. I love, what do you I think love Doug Life loves of movies? Pie. Life of Should Pie I see good. it? It's good. Obviously the title put me off. Sure. And I and I thought, uh, uh, what, I'm going to see this movie about some tiger who enters a pie-eating contest? Is that what it's about? No, mm. no, no, no. What it's, else could it be it's about? The, it's the origin story. How, how, why would you think it's about a tiger Frosted just from flakes. the title? Well, I've seen the trailers for it. Oh, okay. okay. I watched the television. I there was television. never a pie-eating contest in the trailers, No, though. but it's called Life of Pie. There's a tiger. And they in the trailers, I assume they're constantly calling the kid Pie, his name, in the movie. What, is the, the kid's name is Pi? Why would anybody be calling him Pi? He's on a boat with a tiger. It's not a talking tiger. But previously... If he can't talk, how does he enter the pie eating contest? I think you're thinking of Stand By Me <laughs> has a pie eating contest. I think you're thinking of Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. Mm, definitely. You're thinking of Tony Soprano from The Sopranos. Yes. And what are you thinking of? I'm just thinking of, like, why I'm here right Why now. is this happening? <laughs> what am I thinking of now? <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe we're all psychic. Zombie yeah, apocalypse know? doesn't look so bad right now, does it? <laughs> I think you're thinking of cake? Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? I'm psychic. Mm. I think I'm psychic. Yeah, you're like the mentalist. <laughs> um, I'm not interested in you. <laughs> Come on. Cake I'm boss. Teasing, cake boss. Cake boss. Cake boss. How I'm dare teasing. you say that about me and concurrently the mentalist? I'm teasing. Oh. Did you like the TV show No Cake Boss? <clears throat> cake boss? It was just called Boss. So No Cake. With Frazier? Just, just boss. boss. With Frazier. 
Yeah, is 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 I felt he was trying to rip me off in a subtle way. Is Dr. <laughs> Fraser boss, is he the boss of everything but cakes? Is that what that was meant to imply? That's how I took it. That mm. he mm. was the sort of uh, you know, sovereign lord over everything that is not cake. Uh-huh. What and that's I, where I come in. Ooh, what I would, I would love to see like a crossover between you guys' shows. You know what I mean? Like, like you know how uh, to boost ratings. Like CSI did it with Two and a Half Men, where they both appeared on each other's shows. You know, I would love. First of all, I would love to see the mm-hmm. cast of The Walking Dead in character. Yeah, come through the kitchen and discover that uh, Cake Boss is still Cake alive, mm. and then join in on a show. Whose show would we be on? Yeah, because. Uh, they're kind of different realities, right? Yeah. I think, no, I, mean, I think on your show, Walking Dead, you make your way out of the prison. You go find to New your, Jersey. Go to New Jersey, find yourself in a TV studio, and then see uh, Buddy here. I think his name is Buddy Vall- Vallister. What is your name again? I'm so sorry. I'm much like a goof. <laughs> Buddy Velastro. Velastro. And you see him, and he's broadcasting his uh, his his Cake Boss show the out there to the, the world. Yeah. And you realize to get your message of like who you are and you want to get messages to loved ones, you have to be on his show and bake a cake with him in order to disseminate that information. Meanwhile, on your show, what I want to have happen— On the Learning Channel. On the Learning Channel. A reality show where I bake cakes I want life. the zombie apocalypse to happen in real life. Mm-hmm. And then these guys, as themselves, not as the actors, these guys are happen to be the ones who survive, and you do not, and they come and behead you. Hmm. Ah. First of all, uh, I don't like the the way my character is portrayed on The Walking Dead because I seem <laughs> to be very selfish that I'm making people bake a cake with me in exchange for getting a message out to their loved ones. That seems very selfish to me. It's fair. You, I mean, have, you might have the only technology, and you have a limited amount of resource. I, so you got to bake a cake to get in. How am I any better than the, this awful governor on your show, who's uh, so purports to be a nice fellow, but is clearly not a nice fellow? He's got a head true. in a jaw. But Stephen makes a good point here. I imagine that to get into your TV studio, you have to bake a cake as a password. Right there, there's some sort of like uh, keypad technology that you have to bake a cake in order to bypass. Yeah, this seems impractical. <laughs> Does it? So I have a cake kitchen ready to go outside of yes the the studio. Yes, you have a mini also, cake kitchen. I don't have a studio. They filmed the show in my kitchen. I don't know where you. I've never seen it. Where do you? You've never. Oh. <sighs> This is how I find out Scott Oxman has never seen an episode of The Cake Boss. I just learned that TLC stands for The Learning Channel. I thought it was t Boz Left Eye and Chili. Rest in peace. Mm. Wow. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Cake Boss. A uh, Cake Boss. Another thing that I had a problem with mm. is that um, if they come in uh, to my show and they're talking about the zombie apocalypse, uh... Isn't that going to scare people who look to my show for a uh, reality? <laughs> I'm saying no. In re- in reality, this happens, and you you become a zombie, and they come in and behead you. And if that's if that is a deal breaker, by the way, they could just come in and behead you, and there is no zombie apocalypse. But then, if you do it in reality television, do you have to do it for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you'd be done. That'd be the end of your show. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying that you behead cake oh. boss. Um, it might show. be more than the end of my show. I mean, I, I'm seeing a bigger picture here where I'm not alive anymore because I don't have a head. No, but before you die, you can make a cake that's in the shape of your head. head. And, yes. you, and you, and you put transfer, it on your shoulders yes. and walk around with a cake head. Fellas, fellas. Then you'd be a truly bit cake zombie cake boss. Cake boss. You don't think I've already made a cake replica of my own head with, into which you could insert my living brain? <laughs> of course I have. I'm always two steps ahead, you guys. Okay, so yeah, then what's in, the issue? In sock, wait, what, in sock wait, what's, cake. The, what's the step before the second step? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's great. great <laughs> question. That if that's second the second step, why are you? I can't believe you're asking me that question. If you're two steps ahead, what is? I'm always two steps ahead. Yeah, what's that missing step that we don't even know about that you've already done as well? This is it. The way you tried to behead me. Oh, okay. We, this isn't like a, uh, a. I took the step of not being beheaded. This isn't some plan. We haven't done this podcast just to behead you today. Mm. No, it's but just, if it comes it up, just worked out that way. Yeah. yeah. Now that you say that, it sounds like exactly what is happening. We, I mean, you know, I mean, we may behead you by the end of the program. Oh, I don't like the shout of this yeah. at all. That's what happens when you come on a snuff cast. 
I, we've changed the title of the show <laughs> to the Snuffcast, by the way. Well, you should tell your guests because uh, that's kind of a deal breaker. Uh, well, that's kind of the point. We don't want to tell the guests. Ooh, fair enough. All well, right, your stuff, guest. Uh, it's may a surprise I, just this one week. <laughs> may I may I humbly request, yes, sir, that I not be beheaded by the end of the show. Hmm. How good are you, are you Stephen? So heading? good. No. Yeah. Like, if you had to behead someone, would you be able to do it? Just from the the skills that you've learned on this show. Um, digitally, and may like halfway. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't mind being digitally beheaded. Meaning with my my fingers. Ugh. I don't like words that mean more than one thing. <laughs> oh, that scared me. I'm just kind of practicing Ooh, a little bit. Oh, she's got to me. You scared me? No, you scaring me. Okay. Just trying to see. I, I, I want to know if your neck is as soft as your teeth. Ooh. It's pretty solid, actually. <laughs> pretty solid neck. Go solid neck. All right. We'll see. All right, guys. All the cake goes right to my neck. Is Tell you what, way? it is time to play one of our favorite features on this show. This is a little something we call Would You Rather... Time to play Would You Rather. We all know how this is played, of course. Uh, people send us Would You Rather scenarios to my Twitter. No. Oh, God. I've so you can send it to your Twitter. No. At Scott Ackerman. No. What's Oxerman, that? don't you mean? <laughs> no, I'm reading the Twitter handle. <laughs> okay, so wait. So when you say my name without reading it, you say it Oxerman, but when you read what it, you're talking you say... about. Oh, never mind. All right. Scott Ackerman. And you can be contacted at Scott Ackerman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand these rules. <laughs> All right, no, you don't send them to me. Send them to our, uh, our, our the the show's Twitter handle, which is CBBWIR. Which right. is, but you uh, will also see them if they send them to you. Just send them to snuffcast.com, and we will, of there course, uh, what, what I do is I read them out loud, okay? Uh, you're a listener of the show. You yeah. must know this backwards yes. and forwards, of course. Why am I even bothering? I should just launch into it, right? Mm -hmm. But I'll still say it. Uh, I read them out loud. I will then open the floor for questions. You can ask any question you like about either of the scenarios in order to help narrow down your choice. At a certain point, I will close this floor for questions. There will be no more questions after that. Is any, that clear? Will there be any warning? Absolutely no warning. This is your final warning in the fact that there will be no warning about the floor hmm. being closed for questions. Are we crystal clear on this? Because yeah, there's been a lot of fucking trouble in the past. Oh. <laughs> Didn't you just say this word earlier? That was in a uh, professional context. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so then we'll vote, and then uh, you, you guys know how to do it. Okay, here we go. This comes to us from Chris Davidson, Chris Davidson 81. I don't get actually. that screen, Dave. Ooh. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay. Yeah. He asks, would you rather run a crime syndicate of nuns and grandmas or only be able to tweet about your poops? Would you rather run a crime syndicate of nuns and grandmas or... Only be able to tweet about your poops. All right, I'm opening the floor for questions. I have a question. Yo, Cake Boss, what a surprise. Cake boss. Um, in this scenario where you run the crime syndicate of, uh, what was it, nuns and grandmas? Nuns and grandmas, yeah. Uh, is there a definite distinction between nudge and grandmas, or are some of the grandmas nuns and are some of the nudge grandmas? Great question. Thank Unfortunately, you. I think the very definition of a nun yeah, means you that have you children. have not yeah. had children, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to dock you points. Hold on a second. Does. This is a crazy topsy-turvy reality. I don't know what the It's not are. that crazy. All right? Cake boss? Cake boss. Negative one point. Mm. Oh, he wrote it. So sorry. Now, what if all of my tweets are already about my poops? <laughs> and you're going to fit right in. That'll be an easy choice then. Yeah, probably. But then again, 
they how, how lucrative choice. how lucrative is this grandma's mm. and nuns mob are they good at what they do or are they a bunch of fuck ups they're actually the best at what they do which is fucking up <laughs> Okay. Oh, so they're like a crazy gang of uh, ragtag bishvich. It's a lot like a, nothing right. Yeah, it's a, like a Damon Runyon kind of oh, sure, scenario, sure. you know, like a, some sort of a lemon drop kid kind of thing. Where what do they try to do and fail at? Um, basically, they try to murder everyone. Um, oh, so it's murder? just a murder crime syndicate. They don't even try to make money. They just no. try to murder. No, no, no racketeering. No. They think they're going to make money by eliminating all the people in the world. And so, thereby, all the money will then belong to them. I think that crosses you over into genocide. You know, maybe you're splitting so hairs at this point. Right. All like murders the... are genocide. <laughs> all genocides are murders, yeah. but not all murders are genocide. But not all nuns can be grandmas, exactly. Ah, and is it a specific true. set of recruited grandmas and nuns, or is it all grandmas and all nuns? Great question. It is all grandmas and nuns. The minute that you go into this reality, you have hypnotic, you hold hypnotic sway over all nuns and all grandmas. Uh. You beckon to them with your brain. They Like Aquaman. Yes, exactly. You send out concentric circles and yes. these nuns and grandmas come running. But except Aquaman had fish that would do come running. This is more. Oh, good distinction. Yeah, okay, good. Just I just wanted to make yeah, sure yeah, yeah. that everyone the knew. Viewer, sure. These grandmas don't rule the fish. They don't rule the Or you don't rule fi- Yeah, exactly. That'd so. be absurd. Yeah. So, but if there is some sort of sea life that is a grandma, you Ooh, know, some old oh. sea lion, maybe. I have a question. Yes. How many generations <laughs> of sea life are there in this reality? Like, do uh, you know, uh, 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 in, our, in our reality, I don't think that most of the fish really live that long. Well, their turtles live uh, 150 turtles, years. Turtles, I'm talking about. Let's let's. What do you mean the... turtles? I'm talking about. Uh, Turtles, turtles I can do count. without them. What? Come I on. Take a leave, Have you ever made a turtle cake? I made a tortoise cake. Does that count? No. Mm, so uh, sorry. Negative one more point. Mm, oh, so that, sorry. That doesn't seem like it should count. I so sorry. You. So sorry. Negative Nobody two. asked me to make a turtle cake. Well, so sorry. I was for the rap party for Blade Runner. You don't Runner. have to be asked. Oh, for Blade Runner. Yeah. Really? Wow. Who was at that party? Everybody in the cash. Daryl Hannah? Yes. Is that how she got the idea to be in Splash? Maybe. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other questions? Oh, uh, did I answer that question so, to your satisfaction, Okay, so Steve? it's including all living grandmothers of all species. Yes, all living grandmothers of all species, uh, be it uh, bears. There's one species right there. Right there. You know That's, what I mean? This, have... is a, this is a big operation. What yeah. about uh, mythological creatures? Do they have grandmas? Were they to exist in this reality they would <laughs> but obviously they don't <laughs> plus one point Ooh, oh, you're back to negative one huh i don't know how to feel about it <laughs> okay I, I have a question for the poops of course yes do finally you to, do you have to take pictures yeah finally do you take pictures of the poop and do tweet you those? get to take pictures i oh, think you're asking okay yes yeah do can it be a to... vine of my poops <laughs> yes of course <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're allowed to Instagram, uh, you take pictures, anything that Twitter can do. If you, you know, you can send it to your Facebook, really okay. anything. Yeah. And is it widely accepted? Like, are you uh, contributing positively to the world by doing it? <laughs> that's a heavy question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, do people that, like more these than tweets? I'm, yeah. I'm really. Is it, is yeah. it a popular Twitter? How account? many followers do I have? You have. Um, here's the thing. You have as many followers as you have in normal life, and you have the same followers who like you for whatever you do in real life, but they're just constantly confused about why you have chosen to only tweet about your poops. Yes, I got K-Cos. a question. Of course. Do I want to tweet about other things, but I am unable to do so? Yes, Kickbox. Oh, Kickbox! That sounds like a uh, living hell. Mark Maron, it is. But I got a positive to that. Are you able to have cool poops? Like poops that have never been seen before. That is a great question. Yes, your poops, the reason you tweet about them so much is because they're in these really interesting shapes and interesting colors. I mean, it's almost like fireworks coming out of you. Okay. And uh, they're they're so magnificent that they have to be tweeted about. So you can get like a rainbow dinosaur poop. Well, that's absurd, Steven. Oh, I'm so no. sorry. That's going to be he got you, Steve Young. negative uh, one point. How's it feel to be down in the basement with cake balls? <laughs> You guys are tied, Doug. You started at negative one. I did. So you're. Uh, oh, we're, all, we're all tied up. Ooh, that's tied game. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Other, any other questions here? Mm, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. The floor of my clothes. Hurry up. In the, what? The floor of my clothes for questions. Well, I don't, there's there's not going to be any warning. There's, there's no, no warning. Uh, in, the, in the scenario where... Uh, faster, uh, Cake Boss. You faster. Have the cake Boss. Uh, where you have the, the Dungeon Grandma uh, uh, being the, the awful crime syndicate. Uh, uh, the, uh, do I find love? Kick boss. Hey, boss. Yeah, you do. You find true love. Oh. And the love of family. Uh, like in a fairy tale? I mean, uh, it's not like that because actually love that's in fairy tales is actually, you know, that's fairy tale love. That's not real love. It's mm. not agape. Yeah. Mm. You, know, yeah, it's, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I do. I do. Yeah. 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 But yeah. It, so you find actual real love and not that love that's, you know, and not that Snow White and the, the Seven Huntsmen. Not phileo. Is that right? What no. did you say? I don't know. The phileo love. Agape. Phileo fish? Phileo. <laughs> is that what you were thinking of? Because I, think you I might do be love them. Fish. That's what I've been thinking about all day is phileo fish. Oh, really? I got to get some of those fish bites. Hey, yeah. tomorrow it's Friday. What's fish bites? Is that phileo it's fish Friday? Thing. Is that, is that a McDonald's? That's fish well, bites. if you're Catholic, then you. Cross shock. That's why you eat uh, fish on Fridays. Uh, 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 yeah. Not anymore. The Pope, uh, he lifted that ban. Did he do that? That was his first thing? That's right. Yesterday? No, no. This is a long time ago. Older Pope. Okay. New Pope hasn't Older done shit Pope. yet. No, he hasn't done it. All he does is tweet about his poops. Poop popes. Hashtag. <laughs> um, Are you able to absolve yourself of guilt sin? of your crime syndicate? You have no moral conscience. Oh, so it uh, it makes no difference to you. But you found true love. Yeah, of course. Yeah, oh. you found a good woman who appreciates that you have no moral conscience and supports you in everything that you do. But uh, how can I respect that woman? You know what I mean? If I'm this monster. Running this crime syndicate of old people and people who have sacrificed their sexual being for uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, how can I, how can I respect a woman who lives with uh, such a monster? Are you trying to say how can you fall in love if you don't love yourself? Oh, I guess I am. Great question. Uh, it's easy. Just find some woman who's physically attractive, and your brain tricks you into thinking you're in love with her. Oh, I like it. <laughs> great, great. That's good advice. Uh, questions? Any more questions? There's not going to be any warning when I close it, so get them all out now, okay? Can yeah. you tweet about whatever you want, or is it just about crime, if you're running the crime syndicate? You are able to tweet about whatever you want. Uh -huh. But yeah, sir. do you always tweet about crime? You always tweet about your poops. You think it's oh. funny. In oh. the other scenario, you're tortured by it, but in this one, you think it's funny. Uh. And your poops aren't special. You're always just, They're like, just yeah, yeah. Shitty it shits. really comes down yeah. to state of mind. Yeah, this decision. Perspective. It really does. Mm. P e r s p e c t i v e. That's how it's spelled, I think. Yes, sir. All right. Any other questions? I have a question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are compelled to say I have a question. I think I every am. single time I, I might ask. have a sickness. <laughs> It's like Cake Boss. Cake Boss. In the, what, are you, what are you talking about? I don't know. In the scenario where... In the scenario where <laughs> yes, I'm... Yes, Cake Boss. Cake Boss. Where I'm tweeting about your the poops. poops. Yeah, you're tweeting about it in both scenarios. So which one do you mean? Do Be I more find, specific. Oh, the one where I'm compelled to do so okay, by great. the power of Christ? Yes, of course. It is Christ who... Yeah, the fills. power of Christ compels me. Yes, of course. Uh, do I find true love in that scenario? Cake boss? Cause, cake boss? Because who could love such a person? Who's tweeting about his poops and yeah. is tortured by that? Yeah. Mm. Cake boss? Cake boss? You don't. No, oh, I thought that. Yeah. You you date a lot of models. Just a constant stream of like a new model every okay. day. No, it's sex, but it's not love. I mean, but it's really good sex. Oh, sure. So Are you able to monetize your, your, your fucking poop, models? Poop, oh. poop tweets. Poop tweets, yes, yeah. yeah, you get great sponsors. And does it is it painful when you have those extravagant poops? Yes, it's incredibly painful. Oh, this makes oh, so it you can't easier. enjoy the go. It makes man. it easier the fact that it's painful because you like pain. No, you the like opposite. pain when you poop. Oh no, well, this Stephen game is all about Young getting to know the contestants. Likes pain. No, this is bad. In his pee hole. No. Is this that is, what you're saying? No, that's that was a real stretch. Interesting. Really? You it like to stretch that your pee hole. <laughs> that's a s really large stretch in the back. <laughs>
Like he was stretchy. <laughs> I'm just glad Not you're saying a bee, bee hole. Yeah, I know. We don't want to <laughs> clean it up. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm doing it, you know, out of deference for you. I know well, you don't like that kind of language. Thank you. I try to keep it clean. I closed the floor for questions. Oh, there was no warning. It was out of nowhere. Why would you I do that to us? Ask another question. All right, guys. I have I'm two so more sorry. Questions. Two I'm more. So sorry. You're, Just two more. You know what? The great thing is, is you're you're tied at negative one a piece. That's so a it's great anyone's thing? game. It okay. literally is anyone's game at this point. It may as well be zero a piece. Okay. Because mm-hmm. you're all even. Yeah. Or it, it could be you know 450 to 450 to 450. It makes the score doesn't make any difference at this point. Nobody think that the number is 666 because that's scary. That is very scary. Mm. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So I'm going to ask you to vote. We're going to start here with Steve who uh, it seemed the minute I said painful, he his eyes lit up. And, uh, I saw it. <laughs> uh, um, for me, I would run the crime syndicate. Crime syndicate? Yes. Because you, uh, what's because going on? Because I, I was trying to say I don't like pain, okay. especially in the b-hole. Mm-hmm. Um, and <laughs> the back hole. Yeah, and if you're going to make the same amount of money as you would sponsoring your tweets about poop, and and you're gonna have true love and still not feel guilty for running a crime syndicate of nuns and 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 grandmothers. Right. I mean, you're in the you're in the you're in the top top one percent right there. Unfortunately, Steve, if I may call you Steve, I didn't say you make the same amount of money. Oh. You make far more money getting your poop tweets sponsored. Classic so, would you rather blunder? Classic blunder. But you you're locked in. You voted already. All right. Yeah. Do not make an assumption. I did. I because did. when you do, you make an ass out of assumption. Sam Jackson, yeah. Long Kiss Goodnight. Exactly. <laughs> um Doug Loves Movies. Yeah, I do. From I, Doug Loves Movies. I Doug Loves Movies. You and Umption. I love you and Umption. I I like the idea of, of I've always wanted to aspire to be a tortured artist, mm-hmm. and I think a man who can only tweet about one subject and he doesn't like it, that's gonna mm-hmm. that's gonna bring out some creativity. That's in gonna, the that's other gonna, aspects that's gonna of move your life. the world. That's what I, that's what I mean. Is like, I, I like this uh, you're adversity just, that you're throwing at me. You're not just a guy who tweets like that's your only running thing. running a you, fucking syndicate. That's how's that gonna help the world? Yeah, exactly. You can do so many other things. Well, you know. Okay, great. All right, Doug. Good answer. I don't want that to influence you, Cake Boss, but uh, how do you like to vote? I vote for the scenario where I run the crime syndicate, not because of a stereotypical Italian New Jersey (laughs) thing, but because I hate duds. They are cruel and vicious to me when I was a child going Mm. to parochial school, and I would love nothing more that have power over them, watch them bubble around being terrible criminals, but forced to do so because I can make concentric circles that control nuns come out of my head. Mm -hmm. And you find love. Yeah, that's that's a modish with a hot lady. And it's not Mm. that, you know, it's a stereotypical Italian thing, but it just seems like you'd have more in common with the people you're working with in that scenario, right? Oh, how's that? Well, just, you know, like the people that you'd be working with, probably. Oh, what kind of people you'd... are those? Well, just, you know, it seems to me like you'd be friendlier with them than with maybe. Who? With, you know, I mean, the, the people who are in the, the just, mafia. Just, just say it. Just say it. Italians. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I see. But but that is true, though. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. All right, well, let's tally up the points. Um, Steve, classic blunder. <sighs> um, you're out of the running. Oh, you're, you're oh. Disqualification right there. So sorry. Um, I could, you know, I could have just. We've had several first timers, yeah, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, but not you. I'm usually so come from behind. Type. That's not helping. That's not helping. It's not all. helping. At all right, uh, Doug loves movies. You love movies, so uh, you get uh, three bonus loving movies points. Thank you. <laughs> so you're at two. Sorry, I if like you love, no, you like them. Oh, There's no bonus I points. Said I love them. <laughs> Uh, and uh, you you voted for uh, uh, incorrectly, unfortunately. Oh, I did. So uh, okay. you get no bonus points for the uh, for voting correctly. And uh, Cake Boss, you voted correctly. Uh, you do not love movies. So sorry. I like them though. But you get two points for voting correctly. That means you are at one. So sorry, Doug Benson. You are a winner. Congratulations. Oh, I'm the best. Just I hate Doug loves movies. <laughs> 
just for loving movies. You, you pulled it out. I, you know, and I'd love to stay for the rest of the show, but I've got some tweeting to do. <laughs> well, that is, of course, how we play Would You Rather. <laughs> That's how we play. Would you rather? Great game, and yeah. uh, I've I've enjoyed myself uh, other times more. When you won, yeah. Are you a sore cake loser? Yeah. Mm. I like to win. Mm. I like to crush my enemies to hear oh. the lamentations of the women. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, guys. There's only one last thing here to do on the show, and that is a little something we call plugs. How many plugs can fit in one bag? Well, tell me, Ackerman, my man, don't leave me hanging, you drag. I made a theme just like you asked me, didn't hesitate. I sat here listening to all this nonsense solely for this moment. Wait, oh, yeah. Open up that plug bag real slow, and I'm good. Oh, that's a nice one. That's called Open Up That Plug Bag Real Slow by... Yotam per- Perel? Yotam Perel, maybe. Yot- Probably Yotam Perel. Yotam Perel. You think so? Do you know this Yotam Perel person? Yeah. You do? Where do you know him from? Oh, school. <laughs> you guys went to school together? We went to school together. Wow, that was an amazing coincidence. Yeah. Huh. I recognized his voice right away. Wow, amazing. <laughs> All right, we've opened up the plug bag, so we're going to get to it. Um, Steve, you obviously have uh, the the Walking Dead on Sundays, AMC, mm-hmm. and uh, a few more weeks to go. Yeah. Uh, th- three more weeks, three more episodes. So uh, unless you're hearing this on Monday, and then there'd be two, yeah, and if you're hearing two. it the Monday after that, there'd be one. There's one. Yeah. What about the Monday after that? Then yeah. It's over. You'd yeah. be done. Yeah. Fuck then you can you. watch it and binge. You can binge watch it. Oh, mm-hmm. that's a, a mm-hmm. popular thing these days. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, that's on everyone's lips. Um, what else do you have going? Are you in uh, uh, anything else? Uh, um, there's a project that I did, but what sucks is I can't talk about it. Woo. But that's cool. Uh, what else? You um, did the whole thing. You can't say it. it's still a secret. Yeah, interesting. Mm-hmm. I guess you're in the new Star Wars. It- Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it a movie that the CIA wish, made? Wait, wish. did you replace uh, that person Cho? in Star Trek? Yeah, and John Cho. Yeah, I mean that's how it works, though. Congratulations! There's a few of us. That's so amazing. Hey, yeah. why couldn't he replace Scotty? We talked about it earlier. Never mind. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe you weren't here. Uh, and uh, uh, you also, maybe that project you're talking about is uh, the thing where you drink with the, the comedian host. You can't oh, talk about yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I did. I did a speakeasy with uh, 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 Paul F. Tompkins. Uh, um, I think it's pronounced speakeasy. Oh, yeah, but I wish he was here to Isn't talk Isn't it Cake Boss? He's better at plugging than I am. You're yeah. talking about speakeasy? How do you say it? Yeah. Speakeasy? Yeah, speakeasy. Speakeasy. What do you say? Speakeasy. Speakeasy. Yeah, speakeasy. Speakeasy. Yeah, like you said, speakeasy. Yeah, we're all saying the same thing. We're all saying the same speak thing. Speakeasy. 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 The same thing. We're all saying it. Why are you talking weird? What do you mean, speakeasy? Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? I'm I'm not. I'm saying speakeasy. I'm saying speakeasy. What are you? I don't get what you're doing. What are you doing? I'm talking like like the, you I normally Stewart? talk. Yeah, get out of here. This Mr. Y- Jimmy your, Stewart? Your building's alone? All right. Uh, Should you call them a building loan? <laughs> Buildings and loan. <laughs> so you can't talk about it, but uh, it's coming out. It's Wh- coming. Wh- yeah. When would you so say it's stay coming tuned, out? Stay tuned, everybody. Uh, next year. Thing. Next year. Yeah. Okay. It's so coming. not Star Wars. Steve Yoon coming at you. But a secret, something. Secret project Young. is coming out next year. Clear all of 2014, everybody. Mm-hmm. From the minute you count down to Happy New Year. That's right. Camp to- out at a theater. <laughs> or a television. I don't know. Which it is. You remember that movie, you guys seen Invincible? Do you, do you know that movie, Invincible? Yeah. Where the guy, his name was Vince? Y- Invincible? Yeah, you should be yeah. in something called Unbelievable. <laughs> That's a great idea. And a great job. Get that about, project going. What about Adam and Steve? <laughs> That's a great idea. What about idea. them? 
Uh, Doug Benson, what do you have to plug? I know. <laughs> Doug, yes. I know you have uh, you have a movie out. A motion picture. <clears throat> Can you talk about it? You're a film star. These guys are TV stars. I can't say anything other than the title and what's it about, what it's about, and where you can get it. Okay. It's called the greatest movie ever rolled, and it's a tour documentary, and you can get it at Chill.com. That's all I can say. Chill.com. Why didn't you want it on (laughs) Chillax.com? Because those people are. I like to chill. (laughs) Sure. We all like to chill. People who like to chill are are trying too hard to chill and relax. You know what's funny? Chill Mm -hmm. actually does sound like more work than chilling. You're multitasking while you're trying to chill. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's too much. Uh, And what is this movie about? You said it's just you on the road? Me and my buddy Graham Elwood go out on the road, and uh, he gets road rage, and... uh, You chill He embarrasses... He does embarrassing things on morning television... I like uh, I dare him to just make a weird noise every once in a while when we go on uh, a morning TV show. <laughs> and, Sounds like a great movie. And then All he right. and then he does it. It's very it's very entertaining. Uh, um, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> and how much does this movie cost if you were to buy it at Chill.com? com? Uh, it's just a couple hundred bucks. It's just a you know you, you, really it's, yeah. Oh. It's you just it's you, we could put, put you on a monthly payment plan okay. and uh, you, you'll have it. It'll be yours to own within, What's the within, demographic? A, within a couple of years. Yeah, who's the target Just audience? Just people that have a lot of money and they're really dumb. That's who we're trying to get. What are the metrics? <laughs> <laughs> like people that used to watch Ali McBeal. Mm. That was uh, only that ri- only rich only dumb rich people watch that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, um, seven ninety nine is what we're, we're seven ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? For the movie he described, Flat I out. pay twice the price. That yeah. was a reference to a commercial. I remember you made a reference to that, and I can't remember what the commercial was for. One ninety nine, though. You out of your mind? Yeah. What was it for? I don't know. It's pants, probably pants. I don't know what probably it's for. Probably pants. pants. Probably yeah. pants. Probably pants. Right. Most yeah. of the probably most pants. of the great commercials, I couldn't tell you what they're for. How come they don't? How come you can't get a good pair of dollar ninety nine pants anymore? Mm. That is a good question, you know, because like pants prices seem. I go- closed the floor for question. No further questions. That's right. All right. I didn't even warn you. Kick boss, how, hey, boss. how do you, I'm, I'm phrasing this weirdly, but how do you like to plug things right now? Well, normally I would. Now, I know this is highly unorthodox, uh, but I'd like to cede my plug time to uh, 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 another party who's not even here. I don't know how that would even be possible. What are you, t- what are you getting at I'm here? going to plug on someone else's behalf. What? I know. This has never been done before. I don't want it to happen now. Mark it down. Wake up your grandchildren and tell them that (laughs) they're witnessing history. There's this comedian, the aforementioned Paul F. Tompkins. The afro What? The aforementioned. It's a word. Aforementioned. I I thought you said Afro-American Paul F. Tompkins. You're, you're, You're intruding on my plugs. There isn't- They're not your plugs. There isn't just a set amount of time. They are the plugs that I am making. Okay. There isn't a set amount of time that that I'm intruding upon for I your plugs. I feel like you're muddying the information that I'm trying to get out. What? Just I'm just saying Paul F. Tompkins has an afro. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So people are trying to write down what he's plugging, and yeah. now they wrote down the word afro for no reason. This yeah. is canon. Um, <laughs> so Paul F. Tompkins, who not only hosts this web series Speakeasy, uh, on which Steve Young and uh, uh, Doug Benson were both guests, and you should check it out on YouTube.com, the website, but also, if you live in uh, London, England, or thereabouts, Paul F. Tompkins will be at the Showho Theater April 2nd through the 13th doing stand-up comedy. At the Showho? The Showho Theater. So the S-H-O-H-O Theater? S-O-H-O, Showho. Oh, okay. Uh, and the tickets are almost sold out, so you got to jump what? on this. How much are these tickets? I'm t- I don't know. Seven ninety nine. I'm telling you. Are well, you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, in British nighttime hours. I know that it's the middle of the night there. If you're uh, if you're high or drunk, and or both, watching this, why and you're not? Heckling it's the as best you time. To it's do. the best time to purchase stuff. So go to pauliftopkins.com forward slash live, and you can find the ticket link there. That's amazing. It's pretty incredible. Wow, I'm, we're gonna miss Paul, but uh, yeah, nah, he'll come back. I imagine. Maybe he'll love it so much he'll stay. He might go native. That's a long stint. What's he doing? Like a, sh- a show a night? That entire a show time? a night, but I think Mondays are dark. Oh, okay. Mm. What's See he gonna do on Mondays? Do you think? Uh, probably try to make those gods laugh at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> yeah, all day and all night. Yeah, all day oh. and all night. <laughs> yeah. He loves to get laughed. <laughs> he He's can't even it. on his day off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He likes to do it at the highest degree of difficulty, too. That's right. (laughs) 
That's right. That's how you prove you're a great comedian. That's right. By do going think, after the unlaughable. Do you yep. think anybody ever made those guys laugh? I don't where think the so. guys were like, "Uh, oh, you got me." No, I bet that you. was pretty funny. I bet their asses would be fired if they yeah. ever laughed. Yeah, I oh, bet they I laugh on the inside almost every time, though. Yeah. Do you think they go home to their wives and they say, like, this guy said the funniest thing and I wanted to laugh so bad, but I couldn't? Do you think they found true love? Yeah. I think one of them has. Wow. There's only two, right? Yeah, there's only two guys. Chip. They're there all day, all night. Are they immortal? They are, and they get 45 minutes off to talk to their respective uh, wives, but only one of them has a wife. Yeah. So the other oh, guy just... Oh, but uh, pretty much 24 hours a day. Yeah, well, it's 23, 15. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's the a other, long shift. The other guy doesn't have a wife, so he just sits in the break room staring at his lunch pail. <laughs> oh, he, it's probably hard for him to beat people. Yeah. Is it considered his lunch pail if he only has it once? Hmm. That's a good question, too. Yeah. How frequent it. does something have to occur for it to be called a pail? <laughs> we'll ask Jack and Jill that question. Um, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were referencing the WB show from way back in the day. Or, or the Adam Sandler movie. <clears throat> what do I want to plug? First of all, I want to thank Kip Cantello. Thank you, Kip, for donating to Comedy Bang Bang $100. Thank you so much, Kip. Something special coming to you. And uh, mm. I have really nothing to plug. I don't have any dates coming up. I just uh, We're back to working on the TV show come Monday. Yeah. And uh, you don't like this TV show? You were on the TV I show. I know. You ridiculed me. It made me look like a fat weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I made you look like a fat anything. Ooh. All right. Um, so just watch that. That'll be on this summer. And let's close up the old plug bag. What do you say? We got to close up. I say, Brow. Brow. Oh, it's K Boss Remix. That's right. I remixed the remix. Wow, amazing. All you do is add bro. <laughs> Guys, this has been a great panel. What do you think? Hollywood Nights, first of all. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's great. Mm -hmm. Sirens. Yeah. Steve, Steven, Steve Stevens, do you have a good Steve's. time? This is yes, your first time? Yes, this was time? good. Thank you for having me. This was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. This is fantastic. You know what? I had a good time doing it with you. Oh, thank you very much, Fred. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. And uh, <laughs> Pig Boss. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you so much for being Doug on Benson. the show. And uh, thanks to all of you watching. Thanks to all of you listening. Um, we've been having a great time this year, and, you know, I hate to get sentimental, but uh, it's at times like these, the great heaven knows, we wish we all had not so many clothes. Well, so let's loosen up ugh. the playful tease, like old lovers did. Have, have you ever tried singing that song to any of your uh, British cohorts on the show? That that song that you're singing? Yeah, 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 just sing it in a British accent. They'll know, well, they, 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 love it. they love it. Adam Ant, strip. <laughs> All right, let's have a moment of silence. Oh, Doug, you're wearing sunglasses. Are you? Are you I think you sleep like Dr. Johnny yeah, Viva. I, I'm, I'm going to go enjoy those Hollywood nights. <laughs> in that's those how, Hollywood that's how we do it in Hollywood. We wear I feel like we could have ended night. on a high note. Oh, yeah, we should not be still talking for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but now I'm curious as to where it's going to go. I know. The unknown is exciting. It is exciting. I, up till now, everything's been scripted, and now this is like. Yeah. Exactly. Know, quite know what to do what, do do well what are my hands this. doing I, yeah I and i apologize weird. for getting most of my lines wrong tonight yeah that's okay in, yeah. in the scripted part they don't covered know. for you I, yeah i, picked I can't up a remember lot of i can't remember that shit they yeah, will know they have uh, read the script yeah well guys that's been it that's been our show that's <laughs> comic that's <spit> it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks everyone good night Comedy bang bang, 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 comedy